Number 8. The Wei Dynasty Mummy Archaeologists doing an excavation at China's Inner Mongolia region have uncovered some amazing finds at a 1,500-year-old cemetery. The excavations were conducted between 2012 and 2014, and according to archaeologists, the collected artifacts and human remains suggest that the burial was for members of a wealthy family, like the chieftain of the indigenous Gaoish people who lived during the reign of the Northern Wei dynasty. This ancient tribe ruled large parts of Mongolia and northern China between 386 and 534 AD. Researchers found one of the corpses swaddled in yellow silk. The deceased individual was buried in a coffin wearing leather boots, a gold necklace, a belt, an ornament headband, and fancy rings. Archaeologists are currently in the process of carefully removing the silk garment from the skeleton to conduct further analysis. An interesting painting was also found on the coffin, depicting a house with a blue roof and bright red pillars. The team believe the cemetery may have been looted before their excavation and had this to say. In the center of the house is seated the occupant surrounded by his many white-faced attendants who are standing or sitting and wearing round hoods. The exaggerated face and body proportions of the main occupant distinguish him sharply from the attendants. Along with the elaborately dressed skeleton, a silver bowl featuring a depiction of ancient Greek deities was also unearthed. According to Song Guodong from the Institute of Cultural Relics and Archaeology, the figures are actually Zeus, his wife Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite. To be located in a 1,500-year-old cemetery in Inner Mongolia makes the discovery very important. Not only is it an ancient relic that deserves to be preserved, it also shows how goods and valuables were traded along the Silk Route between Asia and Europe for thousands of years. Number 7. Hidden Neolithic Sites Who would have thought that the blistering summer temperatures across the UK landscape in the summer of 2018 would reveal a number of archaeological sites that traced back millennia of human activity? Ancient farms and settlements of Neolithic people have been popping up all across England in countless fields and farmland. But to have so many make an appearance around the same time was eye-opening. Previously invisible for many years, it turns out these stark weather conditions are helping in finding hidden and lost relics. From England to Wales and everywhere in between, newly revealed sites, including cemeteries and the outlines of Roman villas, are now visible giving archaeologists a first-hand look at fascinating traces to the past. As droughts shriveled gardens and scorched crops, the lines of ancient archaeological sites became clear as day when viewed from the air. As grass and crops grow at different heights or in different colors, they naturally reveal the buried foundations and ditches of ancient villages and burial mounds. One of the more fascinating finds occurred in Yorkshire, where the distinctive shape of an Iron Age square barrow or a mound of earth raised over a mass grave was located. Other sites in Yorkshire being excavated have revealed stunning burials with grave goods inside, including chariots. Seemingly average long straight lines in prehistoric fields that stretch several kilometers in length are believed to be ritual processional routes used by ancient people. Iron Age settlements surrounding a circular ditch have also been uncovered in Cornwall, as well as Roman farms, fields, and paddocks unearthed in Devon. Number 6. Nawurs, the Subterranean City Leave it to the French to have a subterranean settlement complete with bakeries and chapels. In the hidden underground city of Nawurs, 28 galleries and 300 chambers were found more than 70 feet underground with pathways that measure from one to two miles long. It began its existence as a limestone quarry built by the Romans during the second century AD. But as more conflicts rattled the countryside into the early Middle Ages, people began to use it as a place to hide from invading armies, eventually constructing wells, stables, bakeries, and chapels underground. They even constructed chimneys from the baker's ovens they used the heat from the fire and rooted it through the cottages and other structures above ground, so no one would know they were hiding below. 
Viking invaders were even known to inhabit the underground settlement in the 9th century AD. It was later abandoned as Europe became more stable. The underground city was only recently discovered in 1887 by a man renovating his house. But it wasn't always a haven for peace and calm. At one time, the underground city was used as a headquarters by Nazi forces during World War II. It is now an example of how locals were able to adapt to the changing environment. The underground city of Nowers is an important part of life and history in ancient France. Would you like to see this ancient underground city for yourself? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. Palmyra Castle In the province of Homs, Syria, a 13th century castle sits high on a hill overlooking the historic site of Palmyra. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the great city now sits in ruins. Designated a national monument in Syria in 2007, the castle sits on a raised bedrock foundation fortified with tall, thick walls and a moat that surrounds the site, which is only accessible through a drawbridge. Built in the 13th century, the castle has been the site of conflict for many years. It was put in jeopardy in 2013 when the Syrian civil war broke out and continued to be the center of much conflict when ISIS troops took the castle in 2015. Eventually, the Syrian government succeeded in retaking the castle, but unfortunately, a lot of damage was already done. The main staircase leading to the entrances was completely destroyed. But luckily, the structures remained mostly intact, and the Syrian government declared they will restore it to its former glory. Located northeast of Damascus, Palmyra was once a great city and an important cultural center for the ancient world. The influence of several civilizations, including Greeks and Romans, can be seen portrayed in the art and architecture. Originally, Palmyra was established as a caravan oasis, mentioned in the archives of writings from the second millennium BC, an important city on the trade route linking Persia, India, and China with the Roman Empire. Palmyra had a great colonnade street with public monuments including temples and ornamental funerary sculptures done in the Greco-Roman art style with Persian influences. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the ruined city was discovered by travelers remaining under the rule of Romans until the 3rd century AD. Other natural causes also threatened the site, with the towers and citadel vulnerable to minor earthquakes. Now designated a national monument, the castle is protected by the National Antiquities Law allowing conservation and restoration to not only save the site, but preserve the ancient town as well. Number 4. Mohenjo-Daro, Pakistan In the 26th century BC, an ancient city known as Mohenjo-Darowas was constructed in modern-day Pakistan. Becoming one of the largest cities in the Indus Valley civilization, the site was one of the first urban centers in human history and is one of the best preserved sites of the Indus civilization, the earliest known civilization of the Indian continent. It was built in 2500 BC, which is around the same time the pyramids were being built in Egypt. Spanning nearly 500 acres, five times the size of the Vatican City, archaeologists believed it was once a seat of power for the Indus civilization. It was divided in two, with the citadel and the lower town as the main areas of the site. The citadel was home to the city's monuments, including the Great Bath, a 900-square-foot tank that is fed from a sophisticated water system, which also meant the ancient houses had toilets and an elaborate system of freshwater wells throughout the city. In the lower town, an intricate water system served between 20,000 and 40,000 residents. Strangely, there are no places of worship in the Mohenjo-Daro, and no government buildings or royal tombs like other major civilizations. Some believe the society wasn't built around state interests, but instead the class structure that made all the people in the site equal. 600 years later, after its first construction, the city collapsed, but no one knows why. About 4,000 years after it fell into ruin, archaeologists visited the site, and for decades they unearthed various modern-day conveniences that showed how the people of Mohenjo-Daro were years ahead of their time. Number 3. 
Napata and Mero, Sudan. Just because the Sphinx and the Great Pyramid of Giza get all the attention doesn't mean there aren't other ancient sites in Africa to be discovered. Another historic city in northern Sudan, known as the Kingdom of Kush, is an important part of the cultural landscape on the continent. Part of Nubia, a region between the cataracts of the Nile, Kush is one of the most famous civilizations to emerge, with three kingdoms that dominated for more than 3,000 years. The most powerful city-state in the region was Kerman, which thrived between 2450 BC and 1450 BC. Known for controlling the Nile Valley between the first and fourth cataracts, Kerman was a powerful territory that was primarily rural and had about 2,000 residents who practiced agriculture, raised livestock, and hunted and fished. Their people also produced ceramics and metal goods, as well as mud brick structures and temples that were used in funerary chapels. From about 300 BCE to the 4th century CE, the capital of Mero, a port city of Nile, held important trade routes to the Red Sea and the African interior. In an agriculturally fertile area, it was positioned next to lucrative iron and gold mines. One of the most significant artifacts of the culture were tomb pyramids similar to those in Egypt. One main difference between the Egyptian pyramids and those at Moreau was that they didn't have tombs. Instead, the burial chambers sat beneath the pyramid. As the Roman Empire came to Egypt and dominated the people, Kush became weaker and Moreau was abandoned, leaving behind a legacy of statues, stone monuments, and elaborate paintings that detail a legendary kingdom that helped define the political and cultural landscape of Northeast Africa for more than a thousand years. Number 2. The Hawara Labyrinth Originally believed to be just a myth, in 2008, a team of archaeologists scanned the ground near Hawara, Egypt, and found a lost labyrinth below the sand. Discovered 56 miles south of Cairo, a huge mortuary temple once stood next to the Black Pyramid as part of a complex of buildings, galleries, and courtyards. Researchers found an array of thousands of underground halls, temples, and chambers. The structure remained hidden since the 1800s, when archaeologists first discovered the remains of a huge stone foundation 984 feet broad and 12 feet beneath the sand, concluding that they were the remnants of the foundations for the labyrinth they thought had been destroyed long ago. Archaeologists abandoned the idea that they would find anything. Then in 2008, evidence of the structure was discovered. Scanning the area using ground-penetrating radar, archaeologists found the lost labyrinth. Built by Amenemhet III, the site was described in writings by Herodotus, who claims he counted 3,000 rooms in the funeral complex in the 5th century BC. One of the most incredible ancient sites ever discovered, the underground chambers and tunnels were reportedly once surrounded by 40 columns on each side and a roof made from a single stone slab. He also detailed carved panels with paintings and elaborate hieroglyphs. The labyrinth, now rediscovered through using modern technology, could be one of the most incredible discoveries in the history of Egypt. Number 1. The Mystery of the Ancient Egyptian City in the United States Sure, it may sound like a conspiracy theory, but whispers of a lost ancient city in the Grand Canyon tied to an ancient Egypt still exists hundreds of years after first revealed. In the early 1900s, as archaeologists from the Smithsonian Institute surveyed the western United States, explorers traveled down the Colorado River to Yuma to document the unexplored area. In the early 1900s, a news article described a lost city that an explorer discovered while passing the area of Lake Powell Dam. An archaeologist from the Smithsonian claims to have discovered a mysterious cavern that could trace back to the great pharaoh Ramesses in Egypt. Located a mile underground, he found a long passage that linked to a massive chamber with multiple passageways radiating from the center. Detailing several hundred rooms, he also detailed war weapons including copper instruments within the site. He also reported a massive carving of a cross-legged god sitting with a flower in each of his hands and urns made from copper and gold, as well as tablets of stone covered in mysterious hieroglyphs. 
He claims to have found a large chamber with tiers of mummies stacked on shelves, with some in clay and others wrapped in bark fabric. But is the story true? Published in the Arizona Gazette, the article was the only one ever released that detailed the underground Egyptian city hidden in the Grand Canyon. In modern times, researchers have continued to look into the report from the newspaper to determine if the ancient Egyptian city is actually real or a figment of one writer's imagination. Some wonder whether the truth about the city was hidden from the public to prevent explorers and inventors from traveling across the Grand Canyon looking for clues and putting their lives in danger. With no further evidence, the mystery of this lost city only becomes more compelling the longer the truth remains hidden. Thanks for watching. Which one of these ancient mysterious cities fascinates you the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.